Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, February 2nd. <laughs> uh, happy Groundhog's Day. This stinking little guy saw his shadow, so there's more winter. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for spring. But anyways, it's been about a week since I've been on here. Uh, just life stuff. I know this is a <laughs> Just life stuff. Um, get in the way. <laughs> just busy with stuff and uh, all that kind of stuff, yeah. Anyways, I got some stuff to show you today. And uh, I got a whip to share with you. I got a couple finished objects. I got an upcoming whip and I got some bags. <laughs> Just all kinds of stuff to share with you. So I'm going to hop into it. June is uh, napping this morning. So I might have to hop up and get her if she wakes up. It is cold here. So the heat is on and it's loud. <laughs> Anyways, so my only active whip right now is my corner of the corner that I've been working on. Just kind of sporadically. But I do have a few upcoming whips that I got to get started because <laughs> I'm participating in um, two collabs, technically. One of them is with Kim at the Crafty Nomad. She's doing the um, seasonal yarny YouTube hop thing. So the spring one, the first, it, it would be uh, March 21st or 20th or something like that. So I got to get started on that soon. Uh, and then there's another one that I'm doing with another group of ladies. That, that video will be coming out on the 11th. Um, so I gotta get those projects started. They're both kind of big projects. But anyways, we'll talk with him when the time gets here. So my corner in the corner, I've made a little bit of progress on. <clears throat> I'm using, um, Mandala Baby. <laughs> That's all messed up. And the color is Pixie Hollow, I think. Yeah, Pixie Hollow. And it is a number three flat. Or, my nose is itching. I got fiber up in it. But last time I showed it to you was in the, um, crochet and chat video that came out last week. So, it's grown a lot since then. Where's my stitch marker? It's on this side. <laughs> so there it is. This is where it was um, before the crochet and chat. And then during the crochet and chat, I added three rows of this green color. And then since then, I added all this other. So, actually, I have to dig my hook out. It fell behind the bookshelf in the living room. So I have to have Devin help me get the hook. <laughs> I was trying to get it this morning to bring it in here. And I dropped it. It looks like a little shawl right now. <laughs> but um, I'm working my way through the first cake. Still got a quite a bit to go though. There's still quite a bit on there. So I'm just gonna try to keep going and get it all the way increased with the first cake and then start decreasing it. So I think it'll be a decent sized baby blanket when it gets done. But when I get done with it, I will measure it and all that so you guys know. But the hook I am using is G hook, which is a four millimeter. And uh, I already said this is a lot three. I have three cakes of it. So I'll have enough to increase and decrease it. Where is my yarn at? <laughs> Yeah, I just have to dig my hook out from behind the um, the bookcase. But it's getting there. It's all floppy. <laughs> I should have got one of my cake savers, but I um, I didn't think about it until it was too late. So I'll just did that there. And then for my finished objects, I finished my other two um, Halloween amigurumis in January. Uh, I didn't bring my book in here to see what days I finished it on, but there, it was still in January. But um, I'm going to do a warning. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't like spiders, uh, to get past this part. They're not realistic looking, but I know some people still, you know, not feel uncomfortable. But anyway, so I, made, I finished the red one. I showed it to you in that, uh, in one of my Whip Wednesdays, maybe? So this is just Red Heart, um, Cherry Red. It's got blue eyes and little pink, uh, cheeks. <laughs> and then, let me put that in this bag over here. So I got a bag over here. I keep amigurumis and then I finish. And then this one is a black one. I'm in a black one with, uh, green eyes. Yeah. So he's cute. So that was my, my January ones was the three spiders. I'm going to try to make three Halloween amigurumis January through October so that on Halloween I will have 30 um, amigurumis to put out for the trick or treaters is my plan. <laughs> so um, that's all the crochet I've been doing lately the last week or so. Yeah. Since the last, since that video I last put out, what was that? I think it was the crochet chat was the last video I did uh, just because of life stuff. And, uh, yeah, so I did start sewing. I cut all this fabric last week, maybe the weekend, but I did get them all done. So I'm going to go through them real quick and then, um, well, let me show you what my Halloween project for February, I picked it out. I printed it out, but the pictures look terrible because I'm almost out of coloring. <laughs> so they, um, uh, they got lines off through them. So you probably can't see it very well, but it's a toad. <laughs> I know it's not like super Halloween. -y. It's a free pattern. I'll link it below. Um, let's see here. I can't remember the the 
the website is uh, Roman Sock is what it's called. But I'll link it below. It's a free um, PDF download. She has a few p free patterns on there. But it's just a little toad. I just thought it was cute. It's not really a Halloween pattern, but toads are kind of gross and slimy. So um, I just thought I'd make them in Halloween colors. But I just thought they were super cute. And um, so I printed that out. And I'm going to make three of those. I'm going to plan on making three of those. <laughs> we'll see if I actually get them done. Because I'm not sure. You know, I haven't made the pattern yet. So it might be like a tricky pattern. I might make one and decide to make two other things. <laughs> but... <laughs> So that is one of my upcoming whips. That's actually, I was going to start that yesterday, but I ended up sewing a lot more than I was planning on it on. And, uh, I didn't. So anyways, but these are the bags that's going to be going up in the shop tomorrow. Uh, Friday, February the 3rd at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, after this video comes out, I'm going to make a video later today with, as an actual, like, announcement video for the people who don't watch all the videos. Um... Yeah, so there's going to be some Notion pouches, some drawstring sets, and some tote bags. So I'll start with um, the Notion pouches by themselves. Sure, I was going to make some more of the squeezable um, hook cases, but I have them cut and already I'm just going to do them next time. Because I wanted to get these um, Valentine-y color ones up in the shop, and then I'll do those ones next. They're already they're right over here cut and ready to go with, along with some more drawstring bags. Um, for the next update. But anyways, for just the notion pouches by themselves, there's this one. It's quilted and squishy. It's got uh, mermaids on it. There's this one that's got coffee on it. There, I still got trim some threads off of these. <laughs> this one is like breast cancer awareness ribbons. Butterflies. I'm pretty sure this is the last of my butterfly fabric. I had some. Two people gifted me this print. And, uh, I think I went through it finally. And this is um, Pugs. And then this one is Cats in a window. Windows. And then this one has a big string hanging from it. I'm going to trim it off. Uh, just that rainbow oil slick looking one. <laughs> and then there are six drawstring bag sets. There's three prints, two of each. So the first one is this one. And it's got hearts all over it. And uh, some of the hearts, they're quotes about cats. Like, uh, loving cats, you know. Like, this one says, life is better with a cat. Uh, this one says, one cat leads to another. Just stuff like that. And the inside is, uh, gingo, buffalo, plaid, whatever. But anyway, so there's two of these. And they both have, um, magic notion pouches. And then this is another... Cat Valentine's print. It's got actual cat faces on it. <laughs> this one has like uh, more cat related quotes in there. It's like love my cat and uh, I think that's all it says. Just over and over again with little hearts. But so there's two of these bags as well with matching notion pouches. Right here. And then the last, this is just a regular Valentine's Day print. It's got the Valentine's Day uh, little red trucks. <laughs> and I think it's got the gingo. Yeah in it or buffalo prime or whatever it's called <laughs> and then um no she pouches so that's the drawstring bags and then there are some there's nine tote bags so there's only one of this print these are the big ones too these are the ones when i cut them they were 18 by 18 so they're a little bit short shorter than that after being sewed uh i will have the measurements on the listings but they're pretty big <laughs> so this one's like um button jars and other little um sewing top crafty notions the insides of all these i think are white except one print and they have snaps on them and then down in there thing out of the way, there is there's a smallish pocket right here that's good for like hooks or pins or whatever and then beside it, it's a slightly just pull out the liner larger pocket for other notions but, and this one's pretty thick <laughs> It's like it's got thicker interfacing in it so it's pretty thick and sturdy so there's that print and there's two of this one a potted plant print <laughs> snap the pockets are on the inside and that handles there are two of those and then there's two of this print this is i like this print because like I'm, I'm ready for spring to get here <laughs> so this is like a gardening print i like it a lot 
snaps and pockets on the inside. These all have white liners except this next part that I'm about to show you. They're big. <laughs> Trying to move them around. Okay, this print does not have a white liner. This is uh, Wiener Dogs. So cute. And the inside of it is like a, a paw print and bone print. And the pocket. I keep opening it on the wrong side. Same pocket, just it's a back print. The little ones right there. There's two of those. And then this is the last one. I love this print. And it, it has a white color, uh, white liner as well. This is pretty. I don't know where this city's at, but it reminds me of like, uh, I'm just, like Italy somewhere, Greece somewhere over in that area. So pretty. It's like kind of shimmery. It's just really pretty. Pockets, everything, same. <laughs> so all these will be in the shop um, tomorrow. Friday, February the 3rd at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It is 4 p.m. Mountain Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time. <laughs> and then I think if you live in Alaska and Hawaii, it is 2 p.m. maybe. And then I don't know about the rest of the time zones. <laughs> Those are the ones I have remember. But uh, yeah, so I got all them in the shop. Like I said, I do have over here. All this stuff out of the way. Ooh, let's see here before that. These are the um, hook cases that I have print, cut out. So these will be in the shop in a week or so. It's the pug print. And there's two that is this blue shades. <laughs> uh, there's another pug one. And there's this. I have a ton, I had a ton of this fabric too. I'm, I think I'm getting close to using it all up finally. Uh, and then there's paw prints. There's two of the mermaid print. One of that print. So here, one of the breast cancer one. And one of the cats. So those will be the hook cases coming up eventually. They're uh, interfacing. I still got it iron that on there. I, mean, I think I got more notion pouches down in here. Cut. I think some drawstring bags. I can't remember. I have to dig it out. <laughs> yeah, I got some notion pouches. So, there's that one that's coming up. There are two of the, uh, that color. <laughs> so this is, I was trying to use up scrap fabrics that I had. Pugs again. And then there's two of the cats in the windows. And then there's two of the breast cancer ones. I keep getting a fiber up my nose. And then these are drawstring bags by themselves. They don't have for nurse pouches. So there's two that will be this print <laughs> in the future. Oops. And then there's two, three, three of this zebra print. And then there's two of this pineapple print. But I also got that, um, where did I put it? Let's see, put up the sea turtle and killer whale fabric the other day in the mail. Um, so I will be making those ones too soon. I kind of got fuzz up my nose. <laughs> but um, anyways, I got that down there. I'm going to be cutting that next. So that'll be in the next shop update too. Um, I think I'll make those into tote bags. Well, I mean, this killer whale ones are tote bags anyways. But the sea turtles, I think I'll cut that into tote bags too. But I'll do all that when I get there. <laughs> so now I'm going, I, got, I still got to take all the pictures of all these bags and make the listings and get all the measurements and all that done. And then uh, they'll be ready to go in the shop tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to work, I'm going to try to work on one of these little frogs today. Toads. Yeah, it's just called Toad. But they're really cute. I hope I can make them look like hers. Because every time I um, find a pattern that I'm interested in, if it's on Ravelry, I like to go to the projects page for it to see how other people's turned out because that kind of gives you an idea of how hard a pattern might be depending on what other people's looks like and some of them looked like hers but some of them also were totally different looking but I think it's just the placement of the legs and feet and stuff and some people do them differently in you know? them but I want mine to look like hers hers are really cute so I'm gonna try to do that and um, I might end up having to make extra ones because Jessie might like this toad <laughs> but the pattern is just one page so I think it, it'll be pretty quick it calls for a 3.5 hook 
and worsted weight yarn, so. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too big because the pattern parts are small. Anyways, I think I hear the baby. So I'm gonna hop off here and I'll catch up with you guys in another video. I gotta do the January uh, roundup and then I'm gonna do the, the actual bag video for people who don't watch this video. But I'm gonna hop off here and go check on the baby and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.